right, Bronze Age believers, my last Steel City stop has brought me to the Phantom of the Attic on Noblestown Road. This is my second visit to this particular LCS in recent years, this time having a little bit more time to browse. Now, although I was a little spooked at some of the back issue prices, Phantom of the Attic certainly has a wide range of comics past to present. Their new books are neatly displayed and organized along the far wall, while their back issue inventory occupies nearly the entire back half of the store. The only thing missing is a dedicated dollar bin or discount section. Plus, they have a nice variety of action figures, pops, and trade paperbacks for all ages and interests. Time now for our tour around the shop, followed by Bry's Buys, where I did pick up one gem for my stash. Time now for Bry's Buys. Now by this time in my trip I was running out of space to safely bring books back home on the plane with me, so I had to limit myself somewhat. This led me to just pick up a couple more Shazam books from the Jerry Ordway Power of Shazam series, of which I only need about a dozen or so books left to complete. And lastly, I found the last book needed to complete my new 52 Justice League run. This is issue number 50 which is a number that is actually looming large for me this year. But more importantly, I've been less afraid to pick up second prints of popular issues these days, as often these covers and the lower print count make them more appealing for collectors such as myself. While there is plenty more to discover in Pittsburgh in the way of comics, this was about all my schedule could handle for this trip. But since it is my home state, of course, I'll be back. And hopefully you will be too, as I continue to add content to the channel showcasing comic shops and conventions as the journey of Bronze Age Brian continues.